What's good, everybody? This is your boy, Sir Smith, and I'm back with another one. What we're going to do here today is I'm going to show the beginners on how to set up your Espen ET8550 for sublimation, okay? This is for beginners, um, and maybe for those that may, be, may not be beginners, they have trouble with their settings as well. The first thing I do when I set up my sublimation printer is just make sure it's turned on. <laughs> Funny, right? But anyway, let's get up to let get up closer to uh, to the printer. All right, as you see here in your LCD screen here, we want to scroll all over all the way over until we get to settings. Click on settings, and we want to click on printer settings. And what we want to do is thick paper. We want to click there, and we want to turn that on. Okay, quiet mode. If it's off, turn it on, okay? Ink drying time, put it longer. We want to have bi-directional off. We want the density to zero, okay? And let's click here. And we're going to also click on paper setup. And for your cassette, as you see here, cassette one, cassette two, and your real paper feeder. Okay, now, whatever you're using, you wanna make sure you click into it, set your paper type, okay? As you see here, mine is Super B, but you, you could change it by just clicking into it and pick what you need here, okay? As you see there. Okay, I'm choosing Super B. And for the paper type, as you see there, there's different choices here as well. Now, let me talk about this here, okay? For beginners, I want you guys to start off with plain paper, okay? Because a lot of people have issues with piece of rolls um, where your print and once your print is done, you'll see lines, streaks of lines within your printer, within your, you know, within your, um, your print, okay? But if you don't have the issue, I would say also start off with presentation mat to test your paper, okay? Because the paper type that you really want to have, the, GS, the GSM size, um, it's good to get like 125. You can't get 120, but if you get 125, I I say you are more safer to use the premium paper mat. Okay. Besides, if you like for the uh, GSM 120, I want to say presentation mat tested there at first as well. But if you if these two options here give you problems, regardless. You know, go back to plain paper, okay? Then you may you never know what type of paper you may want to use. You may want to try another paper. Uh, there are different types out there. Um, one day I will leave a link down below of what I use. But you know, hey, I use that ink popping um, paper. But anyway, what we're going to do is here after you choose your paper type, we want to just go ahead and click on what you you know what you choose. I'm choosing premium matte. And I click here, go back, and I would do this for the, you know, the other as well. If I'm printing out of my cassette too, I would go in, click there, and I would change my paper size, and I would change my paper type as well, okay? That's simple. Go back. You want to get out of there? Go back again. Okay? Go back again. Cool. Now, the main thing is have thick paper on. Now, when I would talk about your choosing your paper type, that comes in handy handy when you have thick or thin paper. You know, you want to make sure that the rollers are lifted up far enough where you don't have to worry about the rollers leaving streaks within your your um your print your print, okay? Also, they say ink drying time is only for uh front and back printing. But, guys, for me, I found out it it helps out because 
what it seems like it does, it seems like it's it, okay. It does take a little longer for your print to get uh, finished because you know it, it's taking the time to go through the motion of printing, but it's not it's not going through fast where it's just spitting it out, out of out of the printer faster. It's taking the time, so it get it, it get it ink enough time to dry before those rollers hit it. Hope you guys uh, understand where I'm coming from on that. But other than that, that's pretty much about it. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, let me click on paper store. Okay, I did that. We did that. Cool. All right. And again, guys, as you done, as you see there, you know, as you see here, you go click there, get out of it, or you click home to get out of it. And again, this is the boy Sir Smith with that ink's popping. Do what the ink say it pops. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys again later. Peace.